my wife and I finally decided to uh, make the move to build a computer. All started with a kit. Install the power supply, do it in the upright position. Align the screws with the case. And voila, it's installed. Next, uh, we put in the uh, I.O. shield. Push it into place. Put the uh, motherboard on the shipping package for the motherboard. Open the CPU socket. Found the lever to be quite stiff. Close the CPU socket and get ready to put the CPU cooler in. The base goes in the bottom. We'll put the uh, cooler in the top and plug the cooler fan mount. There's a legend for the standoffs in the case. Uh, screw them in. Be careful not to cross thread. Found it helpful to uh, magic marker the numbers easier seeing for uh, fellows like me you need bi bifocals line the mounting holes make sure there aren't too many standoffs and carefully fit the motherboard and align the connectors with the IO shield next part pull the cables clear of the motherboard and we installed the RAM Ensure that uh, everything fits tightly, is closed, and then connect the power cables. Don't forget to connect the internal headers because otherwise you can't turn it on. Put the graphics card in. Found it handy to uh, have an extra hand to pull back the lever. Uh, you'll notice that on the motherboard itself. Check the post and BIOS before going any further, just to make sure uh, everything so far works. My son uh, gave the thumbs up. Notice the fans turning, screen. Next, to install the optical and the hard drives. Move the front bezel, make sure you don't damage the uh, cords, the header cords. This is a toolless case. Slide the drive into the case, here click, next to install the SATA cable, the channel 1, we had to reinstall the hard drive bay, there's the hard drive Seagate, 400 gigabytes, slide that in, again toolless case, click, install the uh, SATA and the power cables for the the hard drive and let's try a boot we used an Ubuntu live CD at this point uh, rather than installing Windows because uh, it was late at night we didn't want to get involved in the installation to create this video we of course use a Canon S60 the GIMP image manipulation program and Windows Movie Maker and uh, the kids were really helpful.